create table salary tab salary decimal eight comma two so I'm creating these small tables so that you can get to practice with character tables we did number tables now we are doing tables with decimal places so you create this table then we're going to create a stored procedure which we're going to utilize this table so one of the things I want to try in stored procedures which I have not yet tried with you guys to do some calculations within the stored procedure and as a result produce an output which will then going to be placed in a table so receive parameters <coughs> After you receive parameters, produce an output through calculations, and then store that result in a table. So for this purpose, we're going to be creating a procedure called cell process. It will going to receive two parameters. Both of them will going to be in parameters. They will going to be the values coming out. The values will going to be coming from outside. We will going to declare a variable, a variable salary of type decimal, six digits plus two decimal places. We will going to calculate the value of salary by simply multiplying hours and rate. And once we are done with that, we will insert into salary tab the value that we have computed. Now when you test it, first of all you save it, you run it, it will ask you for two inputs, you provide those inputs, and then after that you should check salary tab and it should show you the value that was generated as a product of hours and rate. <coughs> and you're going to make a call the same way as you have called it before. So your call will going to be to cell process and then you're going to be passing two values. The first value will be the number of hours worked the second one will going to be the hourly rate. Now this can certainly be done through a program like an RPG or a Java or a C. And then you can pass values like that. So you receive an input from the user and you pass the input to a procedure in a call statement. 